You have 10 minutes to reach safe cover. I repeat, you have 10 minutes to reach safe cover. Suddenly, a jet <clears throat> engine whirs to life. Off to your left, you see the figure of Dr. Dinosaur hey. grinning as he guns the throttle on an armored hover car and speeds off towards the shaft of purple light, which is streaming into the sky. No! Are there any other vehicles in sight? A sign shudders in the wake of his turbojet. Caution, experimental weapons range. Fun. All right. Any more vehicles? Vehicles. So, aspects in play of this situation. Alien purple light. Yay. As I mentioned, there were mysterious power outages across the base. There are tumbleweeds and unexploded ordnance. <laughs> and finally, who knows what will happen with those wacky Zeta reticulans. Okay. So, I believe. Uh, you are looking around for other vehicles. Yes, there is a half-track type vehicle, and there's also another hover car that looks to be in rather poor repair. Well, let me tell you something, guys. Um, I don't care how bad that hover car is. You get me to it, I can drive it. I also feel this way. All right. I'll start carrying people then. I've always wanted to try super one of those. It's okay, I'll walk. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> you don't trust me anymore? <laughs> I was like, I yeah, you know, up. we're good. I mean, <laughs> we're good. Thank you. I would like to exercise my legs if that's not too much problem. <laughs> All right. So, so I I'm still sorry, have who's, who's gonna do blood on me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna book it to the, uh, to the hover car. How yeah. much does, would that fit our whole party in it, or? Uh, well, there's seven of you currently. Right. Do you think it would fit four of you? So the half track would fit all of us, though. Oh, yeah, the half track yeah. would definitely fit all of you. The but half it's track, not going to move as fast. The half track has a uh, regular, like, a truck front, and then it has, like, tank <coughs> treads on the back. Yeah. Half okay. track. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Let's I mean, that's, that's our only the, option. The hover, the hover car moves above the surface of the land, and the half track decidedly does not. I know. <laughs> you know what, though? Um... What if we have what a, better what better person to navigate a minefield? Oh, that's true. Than Jenkins. Jenkins. Well, I also have Jenkins. flying tiger uh, to overcome or create an advantage with vehicles when piloting. Yes. Plus one. Which yes. Is cool. Which I could, you know, what I could do is kind of R two D two this thing. Mm -hmm. and you like can R two D two it. Like be in there. Beep boop beep boop beep beep boop. Yeah, be in the mechanics of the vehicle. Yep. Um, all right. So you're and I can on, understand. You're jumping on the hover car. Yeah. Yes. Jump you're in the driver's seat. Yep, and I'm, yeah. Okay, okay. you're going to drive it. Uh, Shot me. Yes. You're going along. Yes. All right, so that's three of you. Uh, the other three of you, don't forget that you have uh, MacGyver, Cyber MacGyver. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to ask... Uh, Mecha Cyber Raptor MacGyver. I, I, as, as, as I hop... Uh, <laughs> i got to write that down. Yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. as, as I hop into the uh, as I hop into the driver's seat, I holler back to uh, Cyber MacGyver. I say... Uh, Let's get this thing guzzling gas, MacGyver. <laughs> Hopefully he w he understands that what I want is for him to find a way for this thing to move faster. Right. Uh, are, are we streaming? Is everything cool? Yeah. Um, okay. All right. Okay. We're, we're just picking up where we left off. All right. Yeah. yeah we, you guys have not missed anything if you're still here, and you are saints for sticking around. Thank yeah. you, guys. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right, so I'm gonna hop in, uh, hop in the truck. We just got out of the the area where the cyber. Di we brought MacGyver back to life. Let's not undersell this. That's done. We are amazing. <laughs> no, yeah. I think I We're believe you. Basically, gods. That's, that's, yeah. that's, He's better than he that's, was. That's the bottom line. Yeah. Uh, if you told me I could be a dinosaur tomorrow with a mullet, I'd say, give me the contract. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, so what do I make a make a driving check, a vehicles check? Yes, a vehicles check. Exactly. All right. Uh, oof. Ooh, that's not good. Mm. That's not good. Um, boy, we don't want to, we don't want to lose this quick. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, that's gonna be a guys. That's gonna be a two if I don't spend a fake point on it. Um, uh huh. Well, what's the? Are we in the? We're in the half track, right? Yeah, we just started oh, driving. I thought you got in the hover car. Ethernet? Oh, you got in the half track? Yeah, because it's yeah. the only one that holds everyone. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, with the two, the half track guns to life. That, that that's in better shape than the hover car. The hover yeah. car probably would not have started with the two. Oh, okay, um, gotcha. But the half track. Okay. Like a panda eats. 
Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> That's a, again a throwback to something yeah. that literally happened at four o'clock yeah, this morning. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Somebody in the chat says they should upgrade MacGyver's body to a T Rex, still with the human head. Well, we have the human head that's mangled. Well, would, <laughs> would MacGyver in a T Rex body be able to do even half as much as MacGyver? No, with human no, he wouldn't be able to. <laughs> but why yeah. wouldn't? Yeah, listen. We've got a mangled head. <laughs> Just sitting around. <laughs> All right. At any rate, uh, so you jump in. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna try to assist him. Yeah, or something, basically or? try to um, get the fast track, like uh, or like sorry, the half track, um, moving quickly or just give us some advantage. Okay, so uh, yeah. In the so I'll so you're gonna try and right. help him navigate the minefield I'll, with I'll be like minimal, a GPS, uh, yeah, yeah. Minimal, minimal, uh, 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 collateral damage. So why don't you give me a? Vehicles? I would like a notice actually. Do you okay. have notice? Yeah, I've got a lot of notice. Uh huh. Let's let's pump that out can there. I, and you're gonna need to hit stunt? a four. What's okay. your stunt? Plus one to overcome or create an advantage of vehicles when piloting. Ah yes. Nothing, but I have a five plus one, so that's a six. Oh, six? Yeah, so no problem. You were just like, uh, <laughs> so. There's one. Don't hit there. Oh, left. Hard left. Right. <laughs> Go. Swerve. 10, 10, 10 a.m. Go to 10 o'clock. And I'm just driving. I'm used <laughs> yeah. to the backseat driving. I don't care at all. Like, all right. Good. Uh, would somebody like to make a roll for MacGyver to help yeah. juice the half track? Uh, what's the bonus to this? Uh, his bonus on, on basically everything is plus three. Okay, so five total. Five total. Oh, yeah. So no problem. So he's like, you know, what you really need is uh, uh, a, an old tissue box, mm -hmm. uh, some camphor oil, uh, <laughs> a mag light, and uh, some peat moss. Got it. Fortunately, I have that all here with me. Good. And he opens his vest, and he's like, and of course, a little gum. old chewing gum. <laughs> I don't know why he became like kind of like Western. <laughs> oh, a little oh, bit of the old chewing gum. He's a prospector. Uh oh, maybe the cyber raptor head is messing yeah. with his action. We yeah. oh, just need a little bit of that old chewing gum. And he reaches his mouth. He pulls out a big dip of chewing tobacco. He's like, well, <laughs> that ain't what I put in, but it's what's coming out. Blurk. <laughs> <laughs> I hand him his spittoon. <laughs> 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 oh man! All right, so the half track goes speeding across the desert. Uh, Yay. Sparrow, would you like yes. to do anything? You're right. So, so, the, so the three, uh, the two of them are in the front. MacGyver does the old like Indiana Jones and just rolls underneath, and you hear him like kind of like cranking on, ch changing away at the axle and like you know and torquing belts inside the engine as mm -hmm. it's running. Um, you, so you and uh, and and Violet and Carl Sagan are riding in the in the basically the bed of this half track, right? Okay. So it's like a pickup truck bed. Um, um, although there is a fifty cal machine gun mounted on the. Oh, oh you gotta yeah. get on. You that. know I'm gonna get on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. Don't worry, everybody. I got this. <laughs> All right, so uh, you're going to take shots at Dr. Dinosaur as he tries to make his escape across right. the experimental I, weapons like range. The All right, right, so combat, combat. Oh, for sure it was. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking. Because we've got somebody yes. who can spot the mines, we've got somebody who can drive, and we got somebody who's firing the machine gun. That's right. Oh, oh plus killing three. it. So four, five, six, seven. Oh, seven. All right, yeah. so uh, yeah, let's see if he has any kind of chance of dodging this. Uh, no, not really. So uh, you're just like, and one of the engines on his on his on his hover car just explodes yeah. in this huge fireball, and you see him like swerve sideways, and uh, he, he did another he guns anything. he guns the jet, and there's this explosion as he heats superheats a piece of unexploded ordnance, uh, and, and it uh, detonates into the air. Um, his hover car is rocked. And he has lost significant speed. Yeah, yeah he's like curses. Yep. Uh, um, like it. Does this one have have um, patches on his elbows so we know he's the real doctor? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's <laughs> yeah this one is uh, actually wearing the uh, the wool, the tweed, yeah, the tweed right. uh, suit coat, and okay. he's got a little pipe in his Great. mouth, and he's wearing a fedora. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he works considerably <laughs> less hard because he has tenure. I get it. And, uh, <laughs> and but you do see him reach down to a little uh, com badge. And uh, he presses a button. He goes, cryptids, attend me. Oh, yeah, we had to get whatever those are. These are zombies, probably, yeah. right? <laughs> and cryptids. Uh, Violet okay. and Carl Sagan, you have not taken actions. I will uh, the only other invite thing you to do, do so at this time. Uh, so the things that we have to interact with at this time are the 
power outages, the purple light. Uh-huh. The, what are these? The zeta reticulans are the grays. They are commonly known as the gray. So, you know, as you have gathered from having his little uh, uh, display plans uh, outlined so clearly for you, is that he has somehow disengaged the security locks on the gray's <coughs> flying saucer. Uh, and he appears to be speeding toward the flying saucer. This purple light that's spearing up into the air is probably some <coughs> sort of like beacon or uh, tractor beam, you know, tractor beam or something like that. Um, uh, and the status of the Greys is unknown to you, like what their relationship is. You expect they have been uh, penned up at Area Fifty One for seventy years now. They're probably looking to leave. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about Roswell, guys. Uh, yeah. right. Hashtag and Roswell they're truth. probably bringing all of our presidents with them, because as we've seen in the Weekly World News, <laughs> there's not a single one of them that isn't a reptoid. So, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, and are we in any threat going over the uh, unexploded uh, ordinance? Uh, at this point, Atomic Robo is giving just like uh, like pre precision call outs, like hard left, spin right, gas, brakes, 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 <coughs> brakes, gas, 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 gotcha. gas. So you are kind of like careening uh, unsteadily across uh -huh. the uh, desert. Um, tumbleweeds are blowing by you, and you're definitely setting off mines like off to your side and behind you. Or yeah. Not necessarily mines, but. Um, but but rockets and, and can I wrap of my mind around one of those mines and take it with us? Oh, nice! Oh, I think you can try to do that. <laughs> yes, That's fucking absolutely. awesome. Uh, I'm gonna call that uh, three difficulty to pick okay. up a piece of unexploded ordnance. Okay. Oh, I like it. Yeah, that. <coughs> yeah. I've oh man, how cool would it be to own a mine? <laughs> oh. We'll see. Yeah. We'll, well see exactly it's gonna happen. It There's no question. Whoops. Well, nope. Hmm. Uh, well, I got a three. Oh, see there you, you go. got a three. All right, so um, you reach out, you uh, you grab like you know. So there's a, there's an old like uh, tomahawk missile that apparently just like landed with a thud, and you're like, that's the one. Mm -hmm. And so with your mind, it just like all of a sudden just rises up and just like starts speeding alongside the half track, <laughs> as if it were like mounted on an invisible wing. Right. Right. You're not entirely sure about what sort of armaments are inside of it, <laughs> but it's definitely an intact missile. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Carl Sagan. I, I, look, I don't like that. All right. Yeah. I, I look. I look. I look over. I'm like, does it have to be that close? Or <laughs> <laughs> probably not. All right. So. Right in their bubble. <laughs> it's a, you know, um, really close. I I have a seat in the half track, and I kind of enter a meditative state. <laughs> Carl Sagan, what are? Who are you? And <laughs> you're one of the greys. I don't I, think I, you're I, a human being. I get. I get. I get onto the uh, to the to the comm link for the for the entire vehicle, and I go, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could have heard you fine. We are <laughs> traveling <laughs> the doesn't across the tarmac. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's speaking exactly this loud. Here's, here's the and best part is there's not actually a comm link. He's just talking into his hand. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, to, a, uh, <laughs> to, to your credit, at least good improv skills. You're not, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Uh, we are traveling across the tarmac covering billions and billions of feet. No. Nope. What I would like you billions. to know is that. We here in the back of the half track. We are here, we believe in you, we support you, and we know that I am not a crook. <laughs> Wait, sorry, I am a crook, but I am a crook in love crook. with all of you because we, the all of us together, there is an energy that I can feel this between is taking us. A very yeah. wide yeah. arc. <laughs> so, so you are in North Dakota at the at this point. By the right. time he stops his yeah, speech, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. So half yeah. of the continent of right. the U.S. Basically, I, 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 miles, I'm, in, I'm encouraging my teammates to go do your best. I'm Carl Sagan. I'm famous, and the things no, no, that no. I say. BSB Care has nailed it. You are Shatner doing Nick. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good description oh, nice. of. Yeah. Of Carl Sagan on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. I, I think Rich Little would agree. Um, uh, 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 so uh, uh, yes, let's 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 do this not just for me, not just for my famous friends, but for all of humanity. Click. 
and I, I turn off. You the didn't have to say link. click either. I think it's on the <laughs> Which code. was really which was to... just a, a can of soup that uh, <laughs> had fallen between the seats. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody heard that, <laughs> I am encouraging was... them with the power of science I because we are made of star yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I, I heard it too, and I'll be honest, uh -huh. it did yeah. actually it did actually motivate me a little bit because I was like, okay, as soon as the mission's over. Never have to see Carl Sagan again. <laughs> All right. So Fantastic. If you hit a five, I'm going to put a morale boost on the table that hey. somebody can invoke for free. Okay. Would that be uh, empathy or rapport or? Uh, uh, no, I think it's a celebrity. Celebrity. Yeah, yeah that's, I think okay. that's a celebrity, celebrity check. Like you're like, look, if anybody else gave that speech, you'd be like, go <laughs> f yourself. Yeah. And, and you did. <laughs> and you talking into it. And you did game. make sure yeah. to throw a plug to Priceline at the end. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. But yeah. everybody knows when Carl Sagan gives that speech, it, you can't help but have the cockles of your heart warm. Yeah. I feel famous. <laughs> um, uh, no. So it, it ends up being a zero. <laughs> oh, what total? What? No. Uh, yeah. So, well, I, my, I'm celebrity. My celebrity is plus one. Oh, oh it's just that. Oh. Which is weird. Oh yeah. But, that, no, that's you know. a, yeah. That, that's a, that's a much rougher roll. But even so, with uh, with a total of zero. Uh huh. Yeah. By the end, I'm just kind of spouting uh, uh, racist. Uh, uh, <laughs> the end of the speech is like, don't forget uh, pickled beets. Uh, Eggs, we need some more cereal. And a uh, cat friend for my cat. <laughs> yeah. And a cat friend for my, whoa, Skillet. I remember the days when Skillet. Oh. Skillet, oh. spatula, colander. Skillet. <laughs> then he just starts naming all of these random uh, kitchen utensils that oh, all start with an S. Yeah. And yet, let, and let all seem to be cats somehow. Yeah. <laughs> In his mind, he has lost it. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. No. No one. And, no and, one in their right mind would do that. And, and part of it is he just kind of keeps drifting off and looking because the sky in the desert is absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. So God. like he tried. He started to give this inspirational speech, but he just keeps drifting off and like wondering mm -hmm. in in full awe of the magic that's happening. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. universe. He's, he's constantly yeah. overwhelmed yeah. by the cosmos. no ability to focus on. <laughs> he's just like uh, the magi <laughs> the majesty of Cassiopeia. The beauty of Uranus. I said Uranus. Um, right. <laughs> it is still a soup can. Just to be clear, none of this is getting saved. All right. So, uh, Doctor Dinosaurs, uh, yes, Doctor Dinosaurs hovercraft uh, burns out under the un under an explosion. Yes. Okay. Of, I uh, aim for it. Of uh, 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 as it hits a piece of ordnance, uh, he rolls <coughs> like a ninja. I mean. Uh. The, the, the moves that you saw on that raptor before like look like somebody on stilts trying to do Cirque du Soleil, which I suppose they actually have in Cirque du Soleil. That's a so thing. it's not yeah, that good of a comparison. You know what? It's, I'm just making this up off the top of my head, you guys. It's like a construction I worker a, well, I do on have a stilts strip. trying to do that. Those parts aren't in this. A construction worker on stilts. Well, that seems like a little bit like, couldn't construction workers, why do we have to buy into stereotypes? Oh, yeah, Constru they, okay, let me tell they, you why. Because construction workers are garbage when it comes to acrobatics. In my uh, experience, okay. if I say, hey, right. hey, buddy, wow. why don't you do some ac acrobatics? That's constructionist, but we're going to move on. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, so he, he, he tumbles like a ninja across the uh, sandy dunes, um, nimbly dodging a couple of explosions. The and, second uh, best thing. And again, he's like, you're going to have to come to me. Yeah, we know. Uh, yeah, yeah. That was. Uh, uh, no, you, that was our plan. He switches channels on his little com badge. Mm -hmm. Is what you see. Oh, and he's, like, he's talking to me. You're them. going to have to come oh, to me. And uh, don't you worry. See a I'm string right. of silver orbs come streaming up out of the purple light. That's uh, roughly uh, half a mile. Can ahead I try of to you. run him over with the car? And <laughs> you can feel the ground kind of like. <laughs> like the sound of something really big revving up. I want to put these tracks on him. <laughs> I want to try and run him over. Okay, wow. all right. Uh, give me a pilot or a vehicles check. Let's see it happen. Uh, right now it's a four. Right now it's a four, huh? Fuck it. This a, is. I want to try and I want to splatter dude. this fucker's guts. It, it's wow. a six. It's a six. Wow, that is cruel. <laughs> yeah, it's a six. That is cruel. <coughs> all right. Uh, his athletics is base seven. Yikes. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Three oh minus. So that's a four. You got a six. You oh, succeed. Shit. You did not succeed with style. That's fine. I, All right. I hit him with a truck. I'm pretty <laughs> happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How is that uh, not with style? <laughs> <I> know, <right? laughs> 
The he doctor, you don't hit him with one of the treads. Yeah, he just goes I just, under the center. Yeah. Well, I think I think I probably get him with the grill, and he kind of rolls over the top there or something. All right, that's Does he roll the over dark. the top? Uh, no, you run over his tail. He tries to like oh, okay. scamper away, and you burn over his. Ah! And he Good. screams in oh, agony. Gosh. Good. He screams in agony what, and what? takes two <laughs> shifts of heart. stress. Yeah, if you get run over by a car, it hurts. All right. Uh, <laughs> he is going to turn around, and he whips out this thing that looks like... Uh, <laughs> it's not, part. though. It's it looks not. like it. Uh, it, it looks like uh, uh, one of those cement cutters, you know, like, oh, yeah, like, yeah. like, like, a, like yeah. a big like buzzsaw blade yeah. that uh, is attached to a supercharged engine, and then it has three giant pieces of glowing crystal attached to it. Okay. And uh, he pulls a ripcord on this thing, and it doesn't go Rawr! like you would expect. It makes this like almost like somebody struck the most perfectly uh, uh, blown piece of glass with a tuning fork, and it just goes and then he pulls the trigger and this giant black graphene blade just comes flying out of the end of it shooting towards the half track oh mm -hmm. that's what i would do too if i had one of those uh give me a vehicle's <laughs> check to try and dodge this uh, easy. Da, da, da. Three. not so easy uh i did not do well wow. either uh I in fact bad. i did pretty garbage i got uh, three so you got a three total. He got a one total. Wow. So Ooh. the blade just goes zzzz, yeah, wing. he wishes. It goes, yeah. it goes zinging off into the night. I shook that and, off. And uh, he curses under his breath as it, as it shoots past you. And uh, he holds up the buzzsaw and he clicks another button and you hear boom. And all of a sudden, shh. Ah, boomerang. Boom. He catches it on the end of the buzzsaw. Boomerang gun. Who else would like to go? I'm going to drop my ordinance. All right. Big Violet is going to sling a missile at him. Nice. This is a tomahawk, my friend. Dug a dug. Dug a dug. So, dug a dug a dug. Uh, I think we're about to find out what made the dinosaurs extinct. Uh -oh. <laughs> tomahawk missile. I wondered when that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Suck off this. Nice. Good roll. Seven. Uh, he's got a seven base, and I got an eight. Oh, Damn, you got so faith though. Close. Yeah, I'll blow it. Oh, yeah. very good. All right. So, uh, what aspect are you invoking? Uh, there is beauty in precision. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a, yeah. All right. That's good. So, so the tomahawk missile goes <laughs> blowing past him, and he nimbly like he actually like jumps up in the air, and it passes right underneath his hindquarters. Just. <laughs> And he turns to you and he gives that like signature toothy grin. Bing! And he like holds up his uh, his uh, 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 ion-infused rare earth graphene turbo blade and uh, like gives a small triumphant uh, 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 sneer at you as you look past him at the speeding tomahawk missile and slowly turn its trajectory around in a circle and blow up at his feet. Nice. Uh, so you beat it by one, beat him by one, is yep. that correct? Yep. All right, so he takes uh, another shift of stress. Very good. Um, so he's two now, right? Uh, yeah, he's filled up two boxes. Uh, who else would like good. to take a shot at him? I would. Um, have we seen any of the cryptids yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Um, um, what will I do? Is he a human physique? Uh, does he have a human physique? No. Okay. He um, is most decidedly 100% raptor. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, unlike the... Uh, um, I guess. Unlike MacGyver, who is half human. <laughs> is he out of his? He's out of his hovercraft right now. Oh yeah, that yeah. thing has been trashed. <coughs> you guys, you guys yeah. choked that thing with the fifty cal and uh, everything else that you've done to him. Uh, the hovercraft is definitely now again the you whole know what surface I'm do of the. Is attack his gun. Uh, okay. I'm gonna destroy his gun. Uh huh. Uh, I All right. Like that's kind of his biggest thing. So I'll attack the gun itself. Okay. Uh, just with combat, my awesome robot hands grabbing at it. Uh, okay, so you're gonna jump out of the half track and go over there and just like wrestle, try and wrestle it away from him, yeah. or just crush it. Um, break it. Okay. All right. Um. Uh, so five. Uh, I got a six total. Damn. Ah, uh, yes, a seven total. Ooh, but that. Okay. 
Eight total, sorry. Okay, if I, but if I succeed, maybe I could take it and use it. Well, you could. But I already have my own thing. I would. You could choose to succeed with a serious cost. Well, you got a six total? No, I got a five total. Oh, you got a five. Yeah. Yeah, the only way that you could do this would be to succeed at a serious cost. Or to use a fate. Well, that only gives you plus two. You'd still be one short. He got an eight. Oh, he got an eight? Oh, he got yeah, an eight. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's got big bonuses. Okay. Oh. Um, he's the boss monster. Well, then we are up I, shit creek. I think I should succeed with a serious cost. I you know what? We're very close to the end. I think I, it might be I worth it. I think that's what I want to do. Okay. Take his fucking gun away. Yeah. All right. Um... So you go over there, uh, you, you, you rush across the desert, you're just like, boom, 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 hoof it over there. And uh, you launch yourself <coughs> into the air, and you're just like, it will be mine! And you reach down, and you're trying to grab the thing out of his hand. As you splay yourself out to try and grab onto the graphene turbo blade, he just turns and he like buries it in your chest. <coughs> and it sticks. Whoa. Okay. Um, you are severely debilitated, but you've got this thing just like stuck in your chest, and you can feel your limbs beginning to stiffen up as like in your internal readouts, everything is like system shutting down, power core leaking, da -da -da -da, you know, like the damage control systems are just going off the scales right now, and you're slowly beginning to freeze up. Um, but you've, you've, he's trying to like wrench the thing out. out of your chest, and he can't get it out of your armor. I ah! Took the, I took the phrase falling on the sword to litter. All right. Okay. <clears throat> um, well, hopefully that helps a little bit. <laughs> it's gonna All help right. a lot. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, who else has not gone yet? You <laughs> shot. Your, you shot. We've the got missile? these two. Yeah. Uh huh. I think I All right. Yeah. So you'll like yes, Sparrow. Sparrow. Uh, how? I, I'm. I'm assuming. Obviously, I'm still at the gun. Uh, yeah, you're, you're still at the gun. And how far is Mr. Dino? Uh, you know, he's about uh, 40 yards away. I mean, Robo uh, can really cross ground okay, when Robo wants so to. Okay, so I think I can sharpshoot it. So I'm just going to keep pounding him with bullets. Okay, sounds, sounds great. great. Yeah. He can no longer return the favor. It's you true. You know what? No, fuck that shit. Whoa. Whoa. Look Whoa. Out. Uh, I'm going to fucking jump off. This is Jared. This is Sean. Yes, very good. We we scrambled everybody's yeah. brains. When yeah, we yeah. We, we the table moved. There. Everybody's like, "What Switched. happened?" Uh, yeah. yeah uh, Sean is purple. Uh, is it oh, why, why did I say that so shitty? Yeah, that was somebody's like, <laughs> "Sean is purple." Uh, yeah, I'm purple, guys. <laughs> Somebody should have taken a nap. Sparrow, yes. your action is to. I'm gonna jump off vehicle. Yes. With my. Monoblade. Yes. Oh, and yeah. I am going to into combat with my mistress of the martial arts. And can I do the beauty and the blade? My stunt? That's to create an advantage. So oh, yeah. not to necessarily to, to wound him, but if you were trying to create some sort of aspect that other people could invoke, <coughs> then you... Oops, split him in half. <coughs> well, that's not an advantage. That's out, like, destroying Okay, him. well, I'm going to just destroy him. Yes, um, outright destroy because him. Yellow. Because yellow. Yellow. Yeah. Oh. Well. Uh, he's at Four. an eight total. Oh, he's at an eight. Damn, this what is, is man. what would yeah. this with my mistress of? Tough. Oh. Uh, plus two bonus or reroll all your no. I'm gonna do. Oh, then we just get with this. It would be just an eight. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, what did you get total? Uh, eight. Oh, four there. Well, four here, because that doesn't Cancel count. Itself. Yeah. Oh, that cancels so itself did. out. Yeah. Okay, so your combat is four. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you could invoke an aspect to get up to six, mm -hmm. but he's got an eight. That still fails. You can't, yeah. you so can't beat him by spending a fate point. In this could I re-roll? You could. You could spend that to re-roll all your dice. You could do that. You could mm -hmm. also just choose to succeed. I just would shoot. like to succeed. <laughs> succeed at cost? Yeah. We're going down wow, you guys are both like wow. at <laughs> severe cost. <laughs> uh huh. All right. Just to uh, have the chance to split something in half. I think we're. I think we're. 
Oh God, is Carl Sagan gonna be the survivor? <laughs> <laughs> well, chances are, if Violet it's survives, for the good uh, of the country. Survives, Carl Sagan's gonna survive too. Oh, I thought you were gonna say if Violet survives, Carl Sagan. Will. <laughs> I mean, this is the Bachelor of Science. If it's me and Carl Sagan, did you actually back, literally mean BS? Only one. <laughs> uh, no, this is this is the real full-on Doctor Dinosaur. Uh, this is the my PhD secret mission in this entire certified thing was to kill uh, Carl Sagan. <laughs> I didn't go to make four it look years like of Doctor yeah. Dinosaur. As you go back and look at all of the those scenes, you're like, wait a second. Yes. yes. <laughs> Violet, yellow. Okay. Severe, All right. Severe. So, so you're going to succeed at a severe cost. Yeah. Uh, Can you explain that concept? Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, when you, in 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 fate, uh, when you fail at your uh, at the at the action that you're attempting, you can choose to just tell the GM, you know what? I don't care what the dice say. I need to make this happen. So do your worst to me, but I'm this action is going to be successful. Yeah. Uh, so there's there's two different levels of cost. This is the worst. This is the Carl serious Sagan. cost. Um, and uh, there's minor cost when you tie when your when your roll ties the result with whoever's defending. Uh, then you succeed at minor cost, which might be like a sprained ankle or a broken wrist or something uh, that hinders your character in an ongoing but minor way um, that I can invoke as the GM. So that's succeeding at cost. You can basically say. I don't care what the what the mechanics have just done to me. It doesn't matter that the dice have failed me. I'm going to uh, inflict the narrative of this succeeds, but I'm going to accept the consequence of something awful, awful, awful happening at me. Uh, so, uh, for instance, Robo is in the process of shutting down. Sparrow, uh, so you leap across the sands. Uh, as you run towards him, you know, with your katana at the ready, um, <clears throat> you inadvertently step on something pointy and metal. Uh -oh. You hear click, beep, 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 You are blown bodily about 150 yards across the desert. You guys see just this streaking fireball uh, <laughs> as, as her jacket is, uh, you know, is catches catches fire and lands with just this horrible, like, like almost damp thud. Oh, <laughs> oh no. And she hits a berm in one of the experimental uh, uh, weapons ranges. However, the katana is blown out of your hand and <laughs> impales itself firmly in Dr. Sinus Dinosaur's nice. flank. <laughs> nice. He crumples to the ground, clutching the grievous wound that you have inflicted upon him. Uh, he he heaves a couple of breaths and begins to pass out. But before he does, he looks up and sees, whoa, the silver disc of the gray's flying saucer beginning to rise off the desert floor. <laughs> what are you guys going to do? You are KO'd right now. You <laughs> are frozen up right now. Carl Sagan, you have not taken Carl action. hops on a machine gun. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, who are you shooting at? I'm shooting at the floating disc. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it's a lot tougher to miss that. Then. Okay. It's, it's He's literally true. shooting at star people. <laughs> <laughs> We're all one with the universe. <laughs> Except for you a-holes. <laughs> Cigarette succulents burn in hell! <laughs> yeah, your empathy might go down a couple notches uh, at mm -hmm. the end of this adventure. Bit. I get that, you've I get really, that. You've had a rough day with the uh, you know, team, team action science. I'm not, I'm not the same man I was <laughs> uh, when I showed up. No, you are almost Richard Nixon now. Yeah. <laughs> you were, you're actually Shatner doing Nixon, which yeah. is even weirder than Nixon himself. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right, um, go ahead and fire your machine gun. Um, you're at pretty d distant range, and uh, it's going to be tough to hit something that's actual critical on this thing. So I'm mm. going to say you're going to need a six or higher. I don't know if you can get there, but you might have to spend a fate point. Okay. What's your combat? Uh, plus two. Plus two. You need a good roll. So I need, need a good roll. I need two. I need two for the dice. Yep. Oh, oh my God! God! Oh my God! <laughs> I am become dead. <laughs> this is appropriate. This is the appropriate yeah. place. 
Wow. Oh my god. Oh, wow. I am the angel of the cosmos. <laughs> I will be your unmaking. <laughs> So like uh, oh, like wow. hot shell casings are just like flicking off the top of this fifty cal, um, yeah, out of its own seemingly out of its own volition. Like so so as you're gripping onto this thing, your pectoral muscles flex and your turtleneck just rips open. <laughs> <laughs> Sweat begins pouring off of your your skinny mealy chest. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, we, anyone who's watching can see like one of his eyes just sort of begin to drift a little bit, but he just closes that eye and bears down on the 50 cal. The barrel turns burning red hot. You yeah. actually see like pieces of, of molten metal drip off the end of it. Blue, blue, blue. But you just keep tagging this uh, this flying saucer. You see a swirling light going around the room of it. Whoop, 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 whoop. It keeps going faster and faster, and your eye just kind of starts flicking left, right, left, yeah. right, left, right, left. And you watch a tracer bullet get spiral or shoot in a perfect direct parabola at the spinning rim of the flying saucer and tags the single light which has been circling the circumference oh, at, yeah. uh, at, at, high, yeah. at higher and higher speed. Um, <laughs> the, the saucer lifts up, kips, <laughs> and then begins plunging towards you. Wah, 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 I don't wah, let up. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in hell if I believed in hell. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm trying to remember. Like this is like this is literally like the scene out of Men in Black. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it just starts, and it crushes into the ground in front of you, and it sprays this huge berm of dirt. It showers all of you. Yeah. Um, little bits of rock and then like broken shell, uh, broken um, um, uh, armament casing, stuff like that, bounce off of Roto. Ting, ting, ta tang, ting, ting, ting. Um, there's this huge wave of dust. And uh, <laughs> finally, when the dust clears, you just hear click, click, click. Click as Carl Sagan just keeps pumping the trigger, <laughs> even though the ammo box is long yeah. empty on this thing. There's a momentary breath of silence. Jesus Christ. Fucking Carl Sagan. <laughs> Carl Sagan. I was thinking about it in you. I, I was still looking at these dice. They couldn't have been any better. That was, um, a, that was a miracle. You recover, but if you take yes. one point of damage, you're out. Your systems are coming back online, but if you take one shift of damage, you're out. And I still walk around with a gun in me. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, it's still stuck inside of you. Um, and it's the only reason you're still alive. Yeah, it's like everything is just at a perfect balance with it where it's at. If we pulled it out, she'd... <laughs> Suddenly there is a bright sliver of light that uh -oh. zips across the top surface of the metallic uh, spaceship. And it zips, uh, uh, expands into a giant kind of like three-sided, you know, semi-sided rectangle of light. <coughs> and then... <laughs> the door slides open and a burst of blazing white light floods the desert for miles around. Mm. Silhouetted, you can see the giant head and the long gangly <laughs> limbs <laughs> of the <laughs> greys. <laughs> Uh, they, they're clutching uh, a small, uh, weird kind of like rods that have uh, uh, a little kind of fins and veins sticking off of them and uh, odd oblong orbs at a tap, uh, topped at the head. And one of them reaches a hand, a hand up and in your minds all at the same time you just hear, we come in peace. Just kidding! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> they begin begin evacuating out of the mothership and storming towards you across the desert. Oh, oh shit. Uh, you said I only have one? You have one All right. shift of, uh, of, of damage in you. Okay, so kamikaze time. I'm gonna still crazy yeah, okay, 79 says, hello, <laughs> Tracy. Hi, still crazy 79. I remember still crazy, still crazy. Still mm -hmm. crazy 79. They hooked us up. Yeah. Uh, when we need how, it, how far away am I from the vehicle? Yeah. And, and you, is it completely destroyed? Uh, 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 which vehicle? The Kill them, Carl Any Sagan. of them. <laughs> I don't know which. Right. I never I thought I would say that. So, uh, <laughs> just to clarify, Dr. Dinosaur's hovercraft is basically in pieces. It would be tricky to, to hotwire that I'm vehicle. Sorry, have, you have okay. to make a very good vehicles check. Yes. Um, the half track, I believe, has not been damaged. 
So it's fine. You yeah. could, uh, but you've been shot 150 yards across the desert. So you are a good, you know, 150, 180 yards away from this thing. Okay, so maybe, okay. Um, you are actually, so so there's the, like the, the saucer is in the middle and you're kind of been blown off oh, to the Oh, so left. I'm off to the side. Yeah, you're off to the so side. So they think and I'm And the bad. half track is more over here. And they're okay. like spilling out of their Oh yeah, yeah, they're, they're pouring out and you can just see like little like, like you know, Mars attacks death beams, just like green beams of disintegration. Nice. Like is this still knife there? Uh, any purple light? Uh, no, no, no. Or any the zeta doctor? reticulans definitely are. The doctor is what down. What are the zeta reticulans? They're the great. These they're are the, the ones that are falling out of the uh, uh, the gray thing saucer. Yes. Um, what would you like to do? I would like to, since um, they're past me anyway, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is just get over to their vehicle. Vehicle. And, ve vehicle, and yeah. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can work my magic and <laughs> set it on fire and blow it the fuck up. <laughs> All right. see if I can work the, my the magic. I set it on okay. fire. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're going to. Oh, please work. Uh huh. Please. Somebody right. give me your fucking coin. <laughs> All right, this is uh, <laughs> please. This is alien technology wait. here. We'll, we'll wait. Yeah, we'll uh, wait. And see. We might get four I'm gonna say that this is uh, probably a. Uh, but I can basically do anything. You can basically. That's right. Everybody can basically do anything. So uh, you have plus four in vehicles, which yes. is the, the driving or piloting and anything. Uh, I am going to say that on a seven or higher, you immediately disable this thing, uh, um, blow it up. And uh, on a <coughs> four uh, to six, you may start a, start a chain reaction, will, uh, which will eventually disable it right. or blow it up. And they're by it, so. <coughs> well, yes, they're streaming out of it, but go ahead. All right. So you're looking at, you want at least a four, or you're shooting for a seven. Ah! Mm -hmm. Let what down, it? so two. it's minus two, so you're at two right now. Let's keep it. No, because a four would do it. Okay, fucking this and a severe, severe. No, you don't. That would I, I've you. got like That's one, straight. I'm. But, but, but you've got. But you can't succeed at cost on this. I mean, you could succeed at cost, but um, that's but just gonna start the chain reaction. Yeah, the four would start so the chain reaction. Yeah. That's yeah, good. if you invoke an aspect using the, the okay. fate token. Let's do it. Yeah. So yeah, what actually. aspect of your character are you invoking to g give you the hedge that uh, that, that boosts you over. My keen and inquisitive mind. What about <laughs> underestimate me at your peril? Okay. Okay. I haven't tried that yet. All right. So, uh, uh, and what sort of what sort of uh, equipment or whatever? How are you trying to disable this thing? Yeah. You've lost I mean, your katana. That's that's sunk into uh, Doctor Dinosaur at this point. I do have my armored jacket. Okay. All right, so uh, so so you you rip pieces. you rip off your armor jacket and you happen to look down and you see a piece of unexploded ordnance and uh. you realize if you pack it in your metal in, in the armor jacket <coughs> that will uh, 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 cushion it just enough so it won't go off in midair but it should survive the first couple of bumps to slide up into the door and hopefully go off inside. Okay. Uh, so sure enough, you wrap you quick wrap this thing up. And uh, picking it up like Tom Brady picking up a slightly un under <laughs> inflated football, you put a perfect spiral <coughs> on this warhead as you launch it, and it hits the it hits the side of the saucer. Ting, ting, ting! Slides across <coughs> it like a hockey puck in in, in uh, Two January, sports and zzz, slides inside. And then you just hear this kind of muffled kind of thump, <coughs> and uh, the thing begins to like shake and like convulse. The sound of a football it doesn't player having a <laughs> it Sorry, doesn't we had immediately to explode, but you definitely like like lodged yeah, something yeah, lodge in something there. in there. All right, very good. Uh, who would like to go next? How many? How many have already come out? Is there any way that I can use? There's my about line? six of them that have already disembarked. Are there more and there's coming? more behind them. Yeah. Can I try to close the door with my mind? Slam it shut? <laughs> yes, you can. Because okay. uh -huh. she put the ordinance inside. Right? Yes, yeah. yes, that's true. Oh wow, yeah, that's you're creating a. Fire hazard. All right. Gigantic uh, bomb. <laughs> you basically just don't want to f hazard. this up, so we're gonna go for a straight five on this. Okay. With your psychokinesis. It's a big door, but you have a lot of brain power. Oh. oh goodness. goodness gracious. Oh. Not so much. Not so much. Anybody so else much. have an extra coin? I don't. Uh, I have one. How would that would, would that help you? Uh, well, you would succeed. That would do it. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's worth it. Carl Sagan <laughs> believes in you. All right, very good. Uh, although you have had an oft rocky relationship together, right? Carl Sagan says <laughs> yes. He, he's he going to be the bigger his, man. Puts his arm around. Well, him. Carl, Carl Sagan is. is I think at this point he's like, you know what? I, it's a lesser of two evils. At least he's made out of stardust. <laughs> right. These aliens clearly are not. No, they're made out of freak dust. <laughs> yeah, freak dust. All right. So uh, at first, it's hard to wrap your mind. It seems like the uh, the, the spaceship is oddly like uh, psionically resistant, mm -hmm. which is a little bit bizarre. Um, but you you figure out like no, I I can do this, and you reach out with your mind and you pull the ramp just, and it closes behind, leaving the six grays stranded on the surface of the saucer, and they just kind of turn and look around and they're like, <laughs> and they begin waddling towards you guys. Okay. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is um, use my hyperdimensional map and transcend the dimensions, uh, go to a parallel universe in which this race of people, the greys, have been obliterated by another race of people, which is probably, I assume, some sort of bug-like creature uh, with several Stands different eyes and um, telekinesis. Okay. Channel that... that Thing, may, and this is obviously what the greys are most terrified of, mm -hmm. channel that in my brain and start uh, acting like one of those to basically make them terrified of who they're fighting. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> it's a little out there, but I'm going to die. So. Wow. Screw it. All right. That's yeah. a, a great so, plan. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to do hyperdimensional You're map. looking for a five on your hyperdimensional map. Okay. There. I just need you a you can do three. this. Pretty. Nope, mm. I got a one. So, but I do. We have rerolls. Do we have rerolls? That would be really cool to make them terrified. <laughs> so, uh, he thinks Amy has not read Atomic Robot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, 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 nope. All right, so I played my share of video games. Oh, so yeah. all of a sudden, you know, Atomic Robo kind of like whirs back to life, and then it just then then you see him start going. And everybody for a moment just like stops uh, and just does the old. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's gonna turn it. Or sorry, oh, nice. Oh, oh no. Mary, I'm gonna give you a reroll. Oh my god. All right. Yeah, Very that nice. was. So crazy. I mean, <laughs> so crazy. that sequence was worth it. Oh, that's mm. awesome. Wait, wait, I smacked it. Time. Was it neutral? Yeah, it was neutral. Oh. Was it? It was two better than last time, though. It was. Yeah. It's yeah. still a two. All right. I'm sorry. That is <laughs> not <laughs> enough to succeed. It's probably a little too <laughs> random anyway. <laughs> like, going crazy town over here. And, okay. And, and it, you, you do town. see the greys be like, mm, for a moment, they're like, <laughs> Uh, mating dance? <laughs> no, that doesn't seem right. Uh, we have our own sex robots. Oh, they're inside the ship. Carl Sagan. Uh, it is your chance you. to be a hero. Are there uh, any grenades in the uh, half track? This is Atomic Robo. Of course there's fucking grenades in the half track! <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna take a grenade and kind of <laughs> stuff it in my back pocket and approach the uh, the greys. <laughs> okay. Our arm and, and winky arm held out in a, a gesture of peace. Um, my friends, Nick, let us commiserate. We are all strangers on this strange cosmic blue dot oh orbiting this cosmic yellow sun. Let us come together and learn of the differences between our two species. And I will approach them, <laughs> try to get their attention, try to get them stopped. And as I do so, I will uh, uh, tick the grenade on uh -huh. and make my way and just try to stall them for as long as possible until I'm within Holy range. Holy shit, Carl Sagan <laughs> is fucking nuts. <laughs> please, please. Don't be afraid. I only want to learn the majesty of the cosmos from your species. <laughs> uh, yeah, and just try to just try to stall them long enough to get uh, within grenade range. Okay. Uh, uh, so. I think that's probably a rapport. Rapport? Okay. okay. Think or what were you? Yeah, going for? I, I, I was going for rapport. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. That makes sense. Very good. Uh, let what, let me see the aspects on your character. Can you run them down quick? Uh, a candle in the dark. <laughs> Sorry. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Uh -huh. Turtleneck clad cultural icon. Know the past to understand the present. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, I'm going to give you a 
free compel on uh, turtle clad cultural icon. Okay. Because as you start giving this speech and start walk, you know, walking over there yeah. with this casual, casually with this grenade <laughs> hitched in your hind pocket, uh, when you start talking, you can tell all of them like just turn and are like, Carl Sagan. <laughs> yeah. Yes, friends, it's me. <laughs> Carl Sagan, your friend. So you get a free plus two for that. Okay. All right, uh, here we go. Empathy's pretty high too. Okay. okay. Uh, it's, it's but your your report is good. Empathy is plus four, plus six. <laughs> All right, plus six. <laughs> you gather them together. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> and they're like, and they're like, you can like see one of them like like gets out like like puts his puts his ray gun down and gets gets out what looks like a small like space pen. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, like, like pressurized so it could write in zero oh, gravity. Oh yeah. And he's like, yes. Yeah. yeah, sure. I can sign that for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you go with it, right? Yes. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, oh. All right, and, and so we all stardust. <laughs> 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 so as, as as they reach out the pen to you, and you reach out, and you, you in turn reach out the grenade to them, they look at you with wondering eyes, and you just go. We are all made of star stuff, <laughs> and there's a small mushroom cloud yeah. on the in the on the Nevada plains uh, as Carl Sagan <laughs> and the six Greys ascend into the great spectral hall of heroes on the on another transdimensional plane. You see them meeting with alien insects who used to be their enemies but are now their friends. They have little handshake uh, picnics and, and, and <clears throat> mating rituals. Mm -hmm. Why did that go there? All right. <laughs> oh boy. Um, Sometimes, sometimes um, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you have defeated Dr. Dinosaur. Yeah! And his nefarious army of I'm cyborgs. Still alive. At, at hey, quite, at uh, quite you a cost, may, I, Am I still alive? You step back Did and survey your handiwork with a satisfied smile. Another successful mission for Team Robo. Dr. Dinosaur has been soundly defeated, is and that? Area 51 is completely. <laughs> Charles Sagan's uh, suicide bomber. Mayday, mayday. I repeat, hostile forces are now boarding the International Space Station. Primary oxygen tanks have been punctured, and life support systems estimate less than one hour of reserve. Enemies do not appear to be humanoid. Request immediate... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for playing Atomic Robo with us. We hope you had a great time. Go forth and action science! Hey folks, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Saving Throw Live. This is going to be our first episode of an actual campaign. No more one-shots. Oh